Well, well, well. It has been a long time since we've gotten excited about SnowRunner. Because today is season 13. And I apologize, I was not on earlier this morning. Work had me, uh, had me there. But hey, here we are. Season 13, I, I'm loving the music. Now that they actually have music on season 13, Almaty region. We're gonna jump in here, start this off, and uh, and get this going. Lednor, good to see you. Shamalenko, good to see you as well. We are super excited for this, guys. Um, today, what is on... Basically, the agenda is we're gonna do some scouting. Um, Toller, what's up, man? We are back, man. Yo, Fled, welcome in as well. We're back, guys. Season 13, Almaty. Let's kick this in gear and get this going. Waste no time here. Grab my controller. I don't have coffee because, yeah, it's not morning, so I drank all my coffee this morning. <laughs> so I think the game plan is, it's tough because I would like to use the scout, but I know for a fact I'm not gonna be able to get all of its upgrades unless I go choose to get its upgrades. But the funny thing is, I probably need to take a look at good old snow render and find out where the upgrades are at. So maybe I could do that. Dirt, what's up, man? Welcome in. But we'll see. Let's let's shift our efforts over to the new region. Almaty. The Zerbai quarries. And here we go. The journey begins. I am excited. This is going to be great. So yeah, standard practice. Reaper, welcome in. Standard practice, guys. So there's been some changes that you guys can probably see on the PTS that have translated over to live server. You can go check those out at, at your leisure. I'm not going to really go over those unless I get questions about them. But anyways, with that being said, I'm going to grab a scout. We're going to do this uh, traditional style. And, uh, and go rip around with the scout. So I think I'm going to actually take out the uh, the good old Apache here. I'm trying to figure out what color I want. I, I guess I can rock that. I can rock this. Yeah, I want to see the new scout vehicle, actually. You know what? I think I can do something, though. Here's what I can do. Let's do this. I think the the scout mission is like right outside the garage. I don't know if this is it or not. This might be it. This is it right here. <laughs> this is it right here. So we we potentially could just rush the scout, and then I could probably just run snow render and uh, check out where his upgrades are at. Go get his upgrades and then complete the scouting portion of this. So this could be an option. Um, You've done a few missions so far in this new map. It's definitely an increase in terrain difficulty over last year. Wow, dude, nice. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go. We're gonna roll with this guy. You know what I'm saying? Let's just uh, let's do this. I'm gonna turn my volume up here. We gotta get this going, cracking here. But first, I gotta do something. Actually, I don't need to do this. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm just going to rush the AAC right now, okay? Um, just for the simple fact that I want to use that scout um, to do some scouting. I think we kind of want to... I think we all kind of want to see that, right? Um, yeah. I know I do. So, little unorthodox approach to this. But there is no other map, so... I think this is a, this is a good move. Kick that off. We don't need all-wheel drive on done the pavements, you know what I'm saying? I'm excited, man. I want to make sure this, this volume is up, though. Music volume, max, as always. It reminds me of mountainous parts of Pine Line. Ooh. I like it, man. I like it. 
yeah, just driving around on the PTS dirt, um, it definitely felt like it was very, very mountainous. Lots of topography. I'll grab some quests or some quests, some uh, some tasks while we're at it. So if anyone has snow render up <clears throat> and can let me know where the upgrades for the AAC are, I would be greatly appreciative of that. So I don't have to kind of like stop and go uh, and go check because it's not on map runner. I'm pretty sure Dave probably has it all all mapped out already. That's the point. We're going to we're just going to uh, rush this scout and then go scout with it. First, I'm going to grab some of this stuff. Oh, we love normal mode. It makes big trucks look like toys. Yeah, it does. Th those quarries are huge, aren't they? Oh, I want to grab this. It is kind of unique to the maps. I like the, the boulders falling, stuff like that. Those are all, all good things. Lights out. Ah, uh, wait. Okay, yeah, let's get over here. Ah, uh, okay. Being too hesitant here with my, my movements. So what we're going to do, I think what I'm going to try to do today is at least maybe unlock this, this truck. Um, stage complete. Reach the airport. I think the airport's like way up here. Okay, so since that's way up there, I'm gonna actually just recover, deploy. Don't you love this? Two out west, two in the quarry. Ooh, two out west. Okay. Maybe because we are kind of heading westbound right now, I actually. So I'm actually heading westbound, so I might. How far west? I should just bring up snow render, honestly. Maybe after I get this uh, this part done. But you made a mistake at the start with some seismic missions that drives you crazy because the progress is forced to be slow, but the points are kind of close, so it's oh, and just beeps all the time. Oh, dude. Okay, so there's one by the lake south of the north tower. So this lake here, that's what I'm guessing. Okay, not, not really worried about that. Maybe, Let's see if I can see it from here. Okay, it's down here. Is it on the north side of the lake or the south side? I almost don't wanna say it's probably south side. Yeah, let's go south side. I got a feeling it's south side. This truck feels good, man. North side, it's on the north side of the lake. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so it's up there. Okay, I, okay. I'll turn around. But yeah, we're just going to grab these upgrades, guys. So because I, I, I would really like to do some scouting with the actual scout from this season. What's up, Nergo? Welcome in. Good to see you. this truck man okay so I guess I guess I'm just gonna go up 
Yes. Well, the Apache was buff. Well, actually, there was a buff to vehicles that have, um, what's it called? Um, roof racks in general. So, and in one of those was the Apache. So just the, the linear drag, the linear, it's called linear dampening. So basically there's a, there was a drag force that was like imposed on vehicles that have, uh, roof racks or some of them. And they removed that. So then, yeah, they just drive the, the driving is just much, much better. Let's just say that on a lot of vehicles that, okay. So it's not, it's anywhere. It's probably like above me unless it's not down there. So I don't think it's down there. I don't see it down there. So it actually might be like up here on that rock face. Hmm. Okay, I think it's probably up there. Oh, there it is. Never mind. Ah. Here we go. Upgrade number one. Loving it. 190 engine that's pretty much the only <laughs> honestly you really don't need much much power on that truck anyways it's on the shore okay so that's one that's one upgrade here I'm digging this so far though yeah, the Scout 800 is really nice right now. So there wasn't, there wasn't like, how do I say this, guys? There wasn't a, the linear dampening doesn't affect balance. It wasn't really a balance change or stability change. It affects, like, there's like a drag. Like, linear dampening was like a drag that was like enforced on the vehicle because of the, um, this is like to, to my own understanding. There was like a drag force basically on on vehicles with roof racks and they just removed that so a lot of vehicles go a lot faster like if you jump in right now the uh one that's that's a huge huge change you'll notice is that the hummer the hummer used to be really slow but if you jump in the hummer now the thing flies scorpy welcome in yo jj truck welcome in vic victor welcome in we're just doing some uh some crazy stuff right now. I don't even know what I'm doing right now, but we're just doing it. Hey, look, we got another... Oh, whoa! We just stumbled upon another upgrade. How many upgrades are here? I'm not sure. Actually, I can tell you. Seven. Can I get a turn? Okay. Well, then we'll just force it. You know what I'm saying? All right, I don't know what this is, but we'll figure it out. Multi-purpose. Oh, that's that's it's for the plaid. That is that I think should be the gearbox you use in the plaid. By the way, in my opinion, but that's just my my little humble opinion. But aux, I'll talk about that more on the review in a little bit more detail. All right, here's the the airport. Oh, that's not good. Whoa, dude. Really? Runway lights. I'll probably get this airport hangers mission back here, actually. So one service spare parts. Is that called, is that still the same mission? Okay. Yeah, honestly, I don't think there's been any type of changes to the Scout 800. Actually, has there? Let me see. 
I don't think there has been any balance changes to the Scout 800. Announcements. Uh, kind of thing. Community feed. Can drill. Yeah, I don't think there are any mentioned. Okay, so. No, it was all scouts. I'm pretty sure it was all scouts. All vehicles that are that had roof racks that had linear dampening. There's a huge long list, but yeah, that they changed. Okay, so I need one. What do I need here? Helicopter. And then to the scrap metal. Okay. I need to look at something first, guys. I need to check out Snow Render. I need to find these other upgrades. All Mati. Yeah, we're going to go for the plaid after the scout. So I'm going to go for the scout. I'm going to go for the upgrades on the scout. And then I'm going to do scouting with the scout. Scout the complete map. And then I'm going to go for the plaid. We'll get the plaid. And then we'll uh, we'll do some gameplay, but I, I do want to try to try to get this scout and then just use it in like on like a mission sense, I guess, right? Just to kind of what do I think of it so far? What's up, Joe? Welcome in. I think it's great. I like uh, I'm okay with the one map. I do like it a lot, actually. Okay, let's see. This has to render though. <laughs> get it? Snow render. Yeah, I just want to. I I just want to use the scout. Period. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here's the upgrades I got. One, two. Let's see what this one is. Let me back this out here. Page unresponsive. What? What is going on? Okay. This is. There's one, in, I think this one is in the quarry. This is right outside the garage, so I can just go boom, boom, boom. I think so, Toller, I think so. Just wanna make sure I'm getting the right ones here. The four rat map, yeah. Okay, let's see, click. Sorry, it takes forever. Just, just what happens, man. Very nice. Okay, does it say what upgrade it is? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna let this chill. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna let that chill. We're just gonna go. I'll figure this out in a minute. First. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's responding. Yeah, it's not responding. So, whatever. <clears throat> Let's go get this thing. Um, yeah, I think I know where I'm going here. We played a little bit of the PTS, so... What's up, Muffna? Welcome in. Jelly, welcome in. Man, some of the old regulars. The old regulars from the streamers. Come in and stop in. Good to see you guys. Good to see y'all. I know we've been streaming a lot of other, other games recently. Any idea when an inter interactive map is coming? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I could take this and go around, actually, but I think I can go this way. What's up, Dan? Welcome in. Man, it feels crazy. I haven't really touched SnowRunner a lot in, like, the last 
in like the last week or so. So this is actually kind of kind of nice to get back in the saddle. You know what I'm saying? Use the interactive map from web a lot. Wh which one? Which one are you talking about here? Are you talking about Snow Render? What's up, Golden? Welcome in. IT man, welcome in. Yes, other games like World of Warcraft. Uh, a little bit of World of Warships. Some Manor Lords. Yeah, man. Yeah, we, we do it all. We've been... We've been doing some other stuff. Whoa! Okay, I got another little idea here. <laughs> still got it. Still got it, guys. I still got it. You haven't got it yet? You're still in your first playthrough? The Asm Adam center gravity adjustment is very nice. Yeah, I, I figured it would. I figured it would be pretty nice. I figured it would be. I'm glad you're enjoying it, man. Whoa! Forgot about that one. You've been out fishing a lot? Nice, dude. That sounds like super fun, man. Can you use a unique bed with the crane? I don't, I'm not sure if you can use the unique bed. Wow. I can't believe I got stuck there. It's kind of kind of crazy. Very, very muddy spot there. I probably can cut up through here. I, get, I guarantee it. But I'm just going to go around. I think there's a trail that like cuts up. Yeah, it connects like right here-ish. So we'll just take this. I'm not super worried about the terrain. Hold on a second, y'all. I'm I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. The chat window has been moved, and I need to put it back. I'm a, I apologize, guys. I've been using other or we've been playing other games, so the chat window has kind of been uh, in different spots. You haven't caught anything. <laughs> All right. But it isn't crazy top heavy anymore. Yeah, it's it's pretty stable. It's pretty stable now, I would probably say, with the center of gravity adjustments. I know, right, Jelly? <sighs> Telling you guys, that's why this is why I'm not a big name streamer, man. I can't get things right. I gotta say though, the the map looks great. I'm enjoying this. Oh, I probably could have crawled up those. Season eleven or season thirteen. So Joe, Joe, what uh, what what have you played so far? Hey, what's up, Chili? Welcome in. Honestly, man, I would play. A lot of folks are going to disagree with me, but I'm going to tell you that I've, in all my playthroughs, I've only played chronologically most of the time. And I feel, I'm, I really feel like you get a, an amazing experience from playing chronologically. I know all the, all the big trucks and stuff like that from different seasons are very appealing, but honestly, I think there's such a beauty to the game of just playing it in chronological order. But that's just my my point of view. Service spare parts. We'll get rid of that. And then go deliberate. Oh, that's right. The Phoenix has the low... What's it called? Phoenix has the crane and the bed. Also, the uh, the center of gravity, gravity changes to the Tatcher Force have been very nice, too. Yeah, they are a bit solid, aren't they? 
You're currently up to Maine. Well, that's not good. Maine must have felt good to get in there and play that one, man. After playing uh, a more and Dawn. You know, but Maine, the thing is, Maine's no joke either, too. It got some it got some tough parts in it as well. You played seasons one, nine, ten in the base maps. Honestly, I play season two, I play season three, I play season four, and then I would just work my way up. That's just me though. I think that there's a as a developer has said to me, there is a natural progression of the game. And I think it's, I'm not going to go into what he said about a certain point that progression is kind of like just straight up ruined um, from DLCs. But yeah, there is like a natural progression of the game. I think, I think the year one pass embodies that in the, in the most after that, I think, yeah, maybe up to year two, I think that kind of does. And then after that, it kind of just falls off. Yeah, main, main will take some time, man. Main will take some time. I actually enjoyed Dawn as well, Aituma. I actually did. I think I enjoyed it on the second playthrough a little bit more than the first. It's weird. It's always weird like that, right? Okay, let's stay. See, oh, there's a. There we are, baby. I'm actually gonna leave this here. Wait, what? I have to repair you? Wait, what else do I have to do here? <laughs> Are you kidding? Repair and refuel? Hey guys, let's check this out. Might as well just break this out, right? You know what, man? I told her I should have put... I should have got a truck with a crane and just brought him back to the garage. <laughs> and then just did it right there. Oh. Might as well just use this, you know what I'm saying? Dawn was great. You don't like Maine too much. It's okay-ish. Uh, starting with broken garage is uh, is interesting. Yeah, that definitely is an interesting, interesting way to start. If I would have played the PTS, guys. So this is what happens when you don't play the PTS. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But this is good though, you know what I'm saying? If I played the PTS, I would have known to do that and I would have just brought him back to the garage, saved a bunch of time. But I mean, this is, we'll take it, right? We'll take this. Only map you weren't keen on is Tennessee. Yeah, I wasn't keen on Tennessee either. Yeah, balance definitely seems better. I'm gonna say that outright. Can I get under here? Oh, oh, can we? Oh. Yes, sir. The delivery of the spare parts is probably not enough. Yeah. Funnily enough, right? Yes, that's true. That's a good point. Season 13 is finally, we finally have a map. What are you doing, my dude? Long winch. That's good. <laughs> I love having the garage and the trailer store in the same spot. Lovely. Back to like being lovely, right? Having a trailer store like halfway across the map. Yeah, no. No ace. This is not hard mode. This is just normal mode. I don't actually plan on playing hard mode anymore. To be honest, it's it's not really a challenge. And I, I know a lot of folks are probably going to wonder why, but it's just not. It, it, it's really like, honestly, for me, it's, it's like playing normal anymore. It's just normal with more transitions, I guess.
But yeah, we've we've completed what up to season twelve in hard mode, and I think I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind in the in, after I complete this or whatever, and then just do it in hard mode. But I don't know. For now, I just feel like hard mode is just uh, it's a time sink. After a while, Tennessee still has potential. Honestly, man, if they made like a second map or which they won't, I don't think they will. I think Tennessee is how it's set. I think it is what it is. You feel because damage sticks on hard mode, there's still a noticeable difference. But that's the thing, man. Like, even even with damage, I, I never felt like I was I was held back by damage a lot. Actually, at all. I mean, I don't know. I just never felt like I was like hard mode like challenged me in ways. What? Oh. What am I doing here? Here we go. We got it. We got it. All right. One second, guys. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. All right, guys. Well, that's that's that. I'm actually going to do this. It's going to kind of be weird. I'm going to fill this up while it's here. <laughs> uh, do I want to drive this around and just grab upgrades while I can? Or do I want to get it back? Just get it back, right? I'll put this on. Oh, no. I want the special. I need to get the special before I do this. Yeah, we're going to get the upgrades. We're going to get the upgrades, guys. Okay, so the other upgrade, I think, is like... Uh, it's like right here, I think, right? I know, right? The music is pretty sweet. You know what I need to do? I need to take like a screenshot of, uh, of Snow Render here. Do we have Naked Dave in the chat? <laughs> Do we have my, do we have the person that's, that's my handicap that fixes my handicap? <laughs> oh man. Resources. Snow render. I'm just take a quick screenshot of this and then I'll just, I will reference it. I'll just have the screenshot on, on hand. Bottom of the quarry. Wait, isn't there one that's like on the way down, I think? Okay. All right. I can do that. I can do that. Yeah, it's very, very interesting music, that's for sure. All right, let's roll. Oh, <laughs> that was weird. But just look, watch how fast this truck goes, man. Like, this thing flies now. As you can see, I can't keep keep my balance or keep my, uh, my trajectory. Okay, I think it's here, and then I bust this way, I think. Which one do I like more, the Apache or the F-750? Probably the 750. The Apache's nice, though, man. If this thing could haul trailers, dude, you, you might... 
I think, honestly, it's a strong, I think it's a strong scout, in my opinion. I think it's a little bit too thirsty for my liking, but it has a ton of, uh, a ton of things to keep it on the road. But I think if this could haul trailers, yeah, this, this probably would be one of the, one of the better scouts, actually. I think its status would increase. Okay, I think one of them are like over here. Yeah, I think it's like going down, like into here. It's it's like right. Maybe it might be up in here. I need to look. I need to keep a lookout here. I mean, we, we went through the PTS, but I didn't really like, I didn't really play any missions, you know what I'm saying? So this is kind of, kind of a, a blind playthrough. I do kind of know the general direction of certain things though. Bunch of excavators. Okay. Well, that's where I, I can see them now. Looks like it. I see it. There it is. Race suspension. Okay, I just need the uh, the gearbox now. I think the gearbox might be down here. Uh, down to bottom. Wow, dude. Uh, do I want to try to cross that? No, I don't. I want to go down. Yo, good luck. Good luck driving around here and trying to touch any of these things <laughs> with your tires. <laughs> any of these uh, these pieces of metal. Is all the way down? Okay. I think I know the whole kind of like general direction. It's probably in this weird spot, I think. If it's... I almost think it's like right... I thought it was like right over here. Or it might be like somewhere where you have to kind of in this very awkward position if I do remember correctly yeah man the patchy's good it's a good truck I like it I think these tires have helped actually a lot what's up I drops welcome in man down. I want to like Oh, this is where the falling rocks are. Well, they're all around kind of. Yeah, man, this map is great. Turn back on daytime so you guys can get a good uh good s little sight see on this. Kinda right. Kinda feels that way. I could probably go down that way and then just like make this shortcut. But we're gonna take the long route just because I want to. We're in no rush, guys. One map, 40, what's it, 48 missions? 46 missions. Yeah, we're in no rush. I got a feeling though, here's gonna be some uh, some rocks that break here. You can kinda see the outline. You see that? Whoa, that's kind of crazy. You can see the actually see the outline of them like prior to breaking. I got a feeling though this map is going to take a good bit of time. Just got that feeling, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know, right? Another another good thing about playing normal mode. Here's another reason why I like playing normal mode, guys, over hard. Is like when I play on normal mode, like anyone can say, "Hey, man, could you could you jump in this truck? I want to see this," and I can immediately jump back to the garage, reconfigure it, and deploy it, and then just run a mission with it. You know what I'm saying? And then another thing is I can control my lighting. 
Hard mode, not so much. I mean, you get used to it, but still, I think the most the most important thing I think for me is like being able to take like truck requests and just being able to do it instantaneous. Like you, you just can't do that on hard mode. To a certain to a certain point, maybe, but yeah. There's a few two vehicle jobs really. I kind of thought that. There's the uh, there's the upgrade right there. I see it. So I take it there's gonna be a lot of like support, like places you have to like have a support truck with you or something of those sorts. Probably a crane. If I had a winch, I would just literally rappel down right now. Actually, maybe I can. If that pole... If that pole is a winch spot, let's see if it is. I'll just do this. I'll just drop down onto it. No, it's not. Okay, never mind. Take the long way home. What's up, Dave? Welcome in, man. I am enjoying the quarry. Yeah, man, it's so nice. I actually can, like, play this out now. It just feels good. It feels real good, man. I was on uh, Snow Render looking at trying to hunt for upgrades. I'm just trying to get the AAC upgraded, and then I want to go take it and do, like, the rest of the scouting. Just to kind of use the scout, you know? You know what's up, Kaz? This is a... for a contract, I'm guessing. What? Strong foundation. What, 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 what? I don't understand. What was that? Oh, that was weird. Okay, that was weird. Okay, but that's, that's fine. We can deal. Uh, kind of go around. No, I need to go through. I'm not going to be able to get up through that way. Which is fine. Yeah, that looked like an actual contract. That was weird. You tried to tell him? That's just odd, man. That's so odd. I think I remember you saying something in, in chat about that. About the wrong icons. It was just weird. I, I was like, why is there a contract? Yeah, the music is appropriate, though. I gotta say that. Music is appropriate. Yo, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. You just unlocked the plaid. Nice, dude. Here's a special gearbox. Okay, that's pretty much all I need. That's pretty much all I need. Okay, let's do this. Um, I don't really need... The 190, I, I could say, I could probably tell you the 110 is going to be a better option. Yo, Lednor. Thank you for that tier one gifted sub. That is 46 gifted subs by Lednor, man. Thank you so much. What mission is the plaid? I forget. It's over. It's actually over this, this away. Over here ish. So, yeah. I'm not sure what it is, but it, it's over there. Okay, let's go. Special gearbox. This is the gearbox you want to absolutely use. Do not use the SnowRunner gearbox. Please. <laughs> the reason being, these engines are a little bit more thirsty than I think it's the, what is it? The Hummers engine? But this makes up for it right here. It's called not a roller coaster. Nice. Raise suspension. I'll throw that on. I will actually keep the. Do I want to use the the actual? I think I might just use these tires. You know what I'm saying? Just to do it. What do you guys think? Custom tires or jaddies? What do you guys think? Let me know. Pretty sure I can use this. 
Default tire slap. Okay, default tires it is. And we got to put the roof rack on, you know what I'm saying? I got to have that that love. Can I, ah, do I want do I want this? I don't. I kind of do want the light bar. Hmm. I don't know if I'm a super fan of that, but it could be fun. Maybe I'd do the back then if I'm gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? Make this thing like look look like a safari machine. No, we don't need any of that jazz. We already have that. AAC rims. <clears throat> Customs it is, my friends. I'm still not a fan of these colors, especially both of these, but I kind of like this. I kind of like this. Actually, I kind of like this a lot. That's actually not bad, but we're going to rock this. The bubble gum. I think this gearbox is like a 10% all-wheel drive penalty or something like that, which is like... Look at that. Oh, wait, should I use this? You know what? I almost want to just not use it. Maybe I'll, I'll use this on something else. How about that? We'll just do some natural scouting. Oh man, I'm thinking I'm hard mode here. I can sell this back. All right, let's go. Let's actually do some scouting, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. Um... Yeah, let's do this. I'm going to go. What is north? Okay, there we go. Yeah, we'll go this way. And I don't know. We'll find the way up here, I guess. Whatever. Let's do it. That front wheel drive, though. Put back on uh, good old afternoon. All right, so now, now we'll start scouting, okay? Dodge some of this jazz. You can see the fuel consumption is actually a lot better. It's almost like uh, Tuz 166 fuel consumption, to be honest. I know, I'm okay with having like the, the wacky ones in there, but some of them gotta be like, some of them gotta be good. Honestly, man, this scout feels good. I've, I played this a little bit on the uh, PTS. It just feels so good. It's very rare for a 4x4 small scout to feel like good driving it, but it's not top heavy. Feels like, feels like it holds on to its balance really well. If you have the right gearbox, it's super efficient, even though it doesn't have a good a big uh, fuel tank, but it's fine. I, I want to think, you know, I want to know is I want to put this to the test of this truck or the the Tuz 166 with the archaic gearbox. I want to know which truck is better on fuel consumption. Still, nobody asked for another scout. That is so true. I have to say, that is a good point. I think even Isarokin said, sorry guys, I have to do this to you again, but there is going to be another scout after they release this, I think. So I, I'm honestly going to say there's going to be another one. So, there is that. I think, I think it was after. Oh, wow, dude. Okay, okay, okay.
right there that turn you know another scout would have already flipped over you know what I'm saying we know it But yeah, this is such a better gearbox than the than the uh, the freeway. Promise you, it is so much better. Can I climb up through here? Do some wacky stuff. Let's see. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Look at this, dude. Not not tipping over? Come on now. Let's go, guys. This is... I gotta say, no one asked for a new scout. But gotta give it its... We gotta give some credit where credit's due. What we want is more Zix, of course. Yeah, of course. Of course, Toller. <laughs> of course. I think there was, like, uh, someone saying... Okay, I need to go around and grab some stuff, I'm guessing. Uh, did I get humanitarian supplies? I didn't. I probably have to go down here and grab this, so I will do that. Resident issue, I can grab that too as well. But I'll do that on the way back. So I'll go like this. Yeah. And then I'll come back this way, grab this. Um, after I grab this, actually, I can just move southbound. Hard hat area, grab this tower. I think there's a... Yeah, that's what we'll do. I know the plaids... The plaid stuff's over that way, too, as well, so... Plaid's, uh... Task unlock. Let's go morning. So then we'll just have a longer day. Scout plus cargo trailer. We can try that. As long as it's not griefing myself. Yeah, we can try it. This is a good part of the map, by the way. This is something I kind of wanted in Season 8 right here. This kind of reminds me a little bit of Season 8. Right here it was right at this spot right here there's like this river that kind of like crosses over and then like when you're driving through here it, it's I don't know it's a cool feeling but I've always wanted a map that like fought like the the river kind of followed or the road followed the river there's another one actually is uh, the base game which is this this map right here Alaska White Valley. This up here is pretty sweet. All the way down. This is such a cool little... Such a cool little route, man. I used to use that route on most of my reviews, actually. In the one in Alaska. Actually, I might bring that one back. For, like, taping purposes. Yeah, that is one, yeah. Very few parts of season eight are memorable. Yeah, that one I loved. It's weird. This is kind of cool. What are these like? Are they called yurts? Is that what it's called? A yurt? Okay. I'll zoom in close here so we actually can see the truck a little bit more. Yeah, you see that? Most most scouts straight up go go down right there. That was great. The balance is exceptional right now, man. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, I'll push it this way. I'll come back, grab this. Um, 
guess I grabbed that already. Scout fuel carrier. I could... I'm actually going to leave this. And then I'm just going to come down. I shall just continue. Yeah, we'll just continue. Grab this. Jump on this road. And then I'll head this way. The road in Tamir. Oh yeah, this one. It's this one. I need to, I need to bring that one back, actually. That is on Drown Lands, and that is right here. I like this one because <clears throat> this test your balance taking this left turn here. Test your balance taking that left turn. Test your balance right here taking this left turn around this rock. And then also coming along here and then the big test is like making this turn because you're turning kind of into the hill, but you're like kind of parallel. So that's a good test. I kind of like that one a lot. Then I like this one too. Is, uh, where is it at? Where's the sawmill? This. Wait, no. Right here. This is a good test. Getting, getting a truck up on here. And then sometimes that what I would do is I would actually drive them on the side of this mountain or the side of this hill. Some trucks can do it. Can actually just drive along this hill and then turn. It's it's so weird. But yeah, just getting up on here, testing and see if it doesn't jar itself off balance. A little bit there. Yeah. I like those. I like those little routes. I'm, I need to bring those back. But the thing is, like nowadays, I don't know. I'm always trying to find some new routes. Whoa. Okay. Maybe we don't go that way. Okay. <laughs> this is nice, man. It's nice. I'm liking this a lot. We're just cruising, man. No, no worries. I'm probably guessing the jet tires are probably going to perform better. If it's my guess, I don't know. Haven't really looked in too much into these tires yet. Probably should look, take a look into them though. I do like the way they look. Yo, I'm going this way now. I know, right? Good fly fish right there. Uh, yo, what is the Zix doing down here? Shoot. I don't like this because I don't want, I don't know if I can get out. Actually, I can get out. I'm good. Yeah, they seem good so far, honestly. Hmm. I'll probably have to mess with that point. Which I will. There we go. This thing is... I mean, I'm pushing it. Like, I'm, I'm kind of driving like a madman right now, and it's it's going great. What's up, Quigley? Welcome in, man. How's Winch Runner? It's good, man. It's good. New season. New season, new trucks. I am on the... The 30... I think it's the 35-inch AA... The AAC 35-inch. So it has 32 stock. These are 35s right now. Race suspension, um, max engine, and then uh, special gearbox, which I think is a must.
have a guess a guess of the stats on him oh gosh i don't even know i wouldn't even i wouldn't even know what the what to even uh guess dave honestly are they good watch they're probably amazing <laughs> that's a good thing though so uh, i'm a fan of custom tires instead of like the jets Wow, dude. I thought I was going to flip there. That's great. Aren't they like point... I want to say like point seven something with... You know what I'm saying? Uh, I forget. They're pretty mid. Really? <laughs> That's funny. Because they're actually doing really well. I mean... I know we're not in like a super deep area, right? This is very mild, but it seems like they're doing well. Is there a place I can winch here? I don't want to like... Okay, I guess we're going to dip down. We're not dead yet, baby. Let's go. You thought I was going to say mint? <laughs> I thought so too. I was like, wait, is he going to say mint? Okay. Hard hats. I think, I think the plaids, the plaid stuff is up this way, but I, I want to swing around this way. I just want to swing around this way. Oh wait, this is the, this is where the plaid is. Yeah. But yeah, man, I mean, not bad for for some mid-tires, you know what I'm saying? One, 2.1 friction, 1.2 mud, so 2.1.7, nothing crazy to go for. Okay. Yeah, it, it definitely isn't nothing crazy, you're right. There's the old platy plaid. The old platypus. Yo, I'm telling you, they need to make like a color scheme for the plaid that is legitimately just plaid. Like a red plaid shirt, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna drive up this way a second, I'll come back down. Okay, so with all that scouting done, I've only burned five gallons of gas. Six gallons. What no, seven. Seven gallons of gas, guys. Isn't that nuts? Like, that's, that's insane to me. No, not the tree. I didn't want the tree. Oh. Oh yeah, man, we're cruising. Let's go. All right, hold on. We gotta stop. Oh no, I took the wrong route. Wait, I can probably take the route around though. Maybe. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna cut through. I wanna hit this tower first before this, all this jazz. So yeah, we'll cut through. And then I'll just let this lead me. Yeah, I'll cut through. Do some nice off-roading, you know what I'm saying? This is an off-roading game, by the way. <laughs> Yo, just punch high, let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm impressed. All right, I, I'm not a huge scout guy. 
I definitely am not a huge expeditions guy. But I have to say, I think out of most 4x4s, I'd probably use this scout, not gonna lie. Maybe not with max engine though. I don't think it needs a max engine. I think max engine is like, what, 80,000? It might be 80,000 torque. I don't think it needs 80 to do well. It probably just needs the, the one right beneath it. A little bit better mileage. Probably basically similar performance. Dude, it's, uh, it crushes Range Rover. Honestly, for its balance, dude, I'll take this one over most. It's heavier than, I'm pretty sure it's heavier than the Hummer, which is actually a pretty decent weighted Scout. It's heavier than the Con Marshall, I'm pretty sure. That's also a decently weighted Scout. Um, I have to actually check my numbers. I can do that actually. Cause I, I actually like was doing a little bit of, unless our good friend Vlad Vulcan upgraded, updated his, uh, his numbers. I kind of calculated them myself the other day, unless things have changed. But uh, be aware, <laughs> my numbers are in, yeah, they're in US tons. So it's kind of, it's kind of weird. Weird that way. Okay, so. I don't know if I've added it in. Oh, you know what? It's here. Is it here? Did I add it? Maybe I didn't. I don't know if I did. I must have not. I must have just been looking and I didn't actually add it in. But yeah, dang, I didn't do that. I got some homework to do, guys. I guess I have some homework to do. How about that? Wouldn't be the first time. Wouldn't be the first time. Okay, got some logs to do, I guess. Oh no, actually, hold up, hold up, hold up. This is the trap, this is the trap, right here, this is the trap. Here's what happens, this is how they get you, bro. 3,700 kilos, so that's like base, right? That's not counting like everything else, like the little tiny bits that are like added in. That's pretty heavy, bro. So like, if you compare, what is it? I think I'm, pre I'm almost positive. It's heavier than... Yeah, so just take this route here. Oh, actually, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, we gotta get back up. I'm pretty sure it's heavier than, than both the Con Marshall and the, and the Hummer, which are actually pretty decent weighted. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Man, look at that background, though. Nice little town. We've seen that already. Upgrade location. Final destination. We got that already. Canes. We gotta grab that. All roads lead to a tower. We got that already. Dude, the logging site is way up here. Yo, Saber, that's what's up, man. I'm, I'm liking that. Good, good pick. Good pick. It's top engines of 110. Okay. Oof. Never mind then. So what's this, its bottom engine? I mean, like what, what its other its other exclusive? I, I thought it was like eighty. Is it eighty? Honestly, I think you only need eighty. Man, I'm out of it. My numbers are not correct. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah, we're about to. Should I try to skirt down this? You know what we're going to do? We're going to pick our way down. 
I got a feeling there's like a, a mission here. 80k is the other one? Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm, I, I think. I'm pretty sure for, for this one, I think 80k is okay. This is it. We might, I might just do this. I might just do this now. You know what? No, I'll save it. I'll save it. Let's just scout. Let's just continue. Let me try to get down here. I'm gonna try to get down. Yeah, I'll just put that there. This is a nice spot, bro. Except for the graffiti, but... Those darn teenagers! It's a nice spot. You know what I'm saying? Look at that view. I'd probably be chilling in that, uh, that black tent right there, you know what I'm saying? What do they got cooking on the fire? That's a fish! Dude, that's a fish. There's a an axe. They got some wood. They got some water barrels over there. Dude. Get off my lawn, yeah. Dude, those teenagers, man. Teenagers gotta ruin it all, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Oh, oh, endo, roll over. Dude, good to go. No sweat. Oh, wait a second here. Wait a second here. <laughs> yeah, let's get, let's get this going here. It's this way here. All right. <laughs> oh, this is fun. Look at that, man. Most scouts tip over. It's so crazy. Unreal. Yo, I got a guy who comes into my channel and he call he <laughs> He says, I don't know how to drive. <laughs> like he, he legitimately, I've banned him twice. I'm pretty sure he, cre he creates new accounts, but he'll, he'll message on my YouTube channel that, that I don't know how to drive. I don't know the physics of, of the game. <laughs> and I don't know, just, you kind of get those people, man. I think he's one of those like low minus Enjoyers that you know, here's the engine you probably should use this one right here, which I might actually just pop back to the Yeah, I might do that Do I have lights out? Yeah, we do yeah, we'll do that No, I mean like no joke he, he legitimately is convinced That I'm like uh, I'm like the worst player on face of the planet. I, I kid you not. Let me actually, I want to look up this engine here. Give me a second. Give me a second here. Uh, DLC, gearboxes. Okay, this is why you want to use the special gearbox on this right here. Um, if you look at the AAC, the special gearbox in AAC, you see like the all-wheel drive penalty is 10%. Fuel consumption is 1.8. However, if you look at like the SnowRunner gearbox stock, SnowRunner gearbox, right? Higher fuel consumption, 80% all-wheel drive penalty, right? Unreal. It's an unreal penalty. And I'm pretty sure that the engine on this vehicle, if I think... I might have it. Is the AC on here? 
Maybe I don't have it. Four, five. Is it really? I haven't updated this. Tires now. Wait, this is it, I think. No, this is just what? I downloaded this? Okay, never mind. It's in the files. I must not have got the got out the files. But yeah, I'm pretty sure its engine isn't that uh isn't this great. Wow, look at that model. Goodness, man. So, with that being said, you want to use the special gearbox. What's up, Luke? Welcome in. Okay, let's continue. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. I probably need to grab... Here's the here's the issue. I probably have to grab the this... The, this trailer, bro. I, I have to grab it because I, I need to be able to discover the bottom of this map. And this is the area that the bottom of the map is, like, not discoverable. So, we'll get to see how this thing pulls trailers here a little bit. Also, this is not the highest engine, I believe. You know what? Give me a second. I'm going to see if something's updated right now. Let me see if Vlad updated this. I probably have this. Here we go. Here, here we go. Vlad did update it. Okay. I'll kind of like prove my point here. <laughs> so I'm not looking like an idiot right now. All right, so AAC. All right, AAC, here we go. So I have, here are the two engines, right? So I'm using the Alt F or the Alt 4 110, which is 80,000. Look at the damage th threshold. Okay, so it's a tiny bit more efficient than this engine here at 110,000 torque. Um, Better critical threshold. So I'll take that. Because I don't think you need 110, 110k on the Scout this size. Okay, so you couple that with... Um, actually, I want to look at something real quick. Trucks. Oh no, what's going on? Okay, here's its weight. Four... So it's... Yeah. 4,000 kilos. Now if you go like down here to like the Con Marshall... Con... Look at this. Sentinel. Con loaf. 36 hundo. Hummer. Let's look at the Hummer. Heavier than the Hummer. Crazy, right? But the thing is the Hummer, the Hummer's engine, okay? And most vehicles that share the Hummer's engine, we'll kind of show you this here, is... Where is it at? It's right here. 1.3 okay so it's like what 2.0 2.3 with its engines depending on what you want you you choose look at this but here's the here's the kicker here is the all these trucks that use this they pretty much all have to use the snow runner gearbox the snow runner gearbox is 80 percent all-wheel drive penalty this one's not the special gearbox for the aac is 10 percent so yeah, it's, it seems like it's pre pretty good right now. So, I, I don't know. We're going to try it out. Seems like it's doing pretty good. Yo, Luke, the, the new season so far is great, man. I'm loving it, by the way. I think it is fantastic. I seriously, I, I want to put this truck up against like other, other vehicles and see how... Did you already... 
I haven't got the the Plaid 450 yet. No, I literally just I'm I'm working on just scouting right now. But after I scout, I'm going to go for the Plaid 450 like ASAP. I'm just gonna go over here and just top off my fuel, even though it's a gallon. Just do it, just to do it, you know. Hey, there's what? There was a cat. You see? You guys see that? Is that a dog or a cat? Oh, I can't zoom in. Tricksters. Tricksters. Looks like a cat, man. I think I've, I think it's a cat. I'm gonna say a cat. Yeah, yeah, it is. Dude, it's a black cat. That's a big cat. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go back. Photo mode that stuff. Hold on a second. Oh, trick. Look, dude, it doesn't do it. That's a cat, bro. Does it have something to set itself apart? I believe so. Yes, I, I believe so, dude. So if you think about it, the Plaid 450 actually outpulls. Yeah, it actually outpulls the uh, the dairy special. Every every tire option, look at this dude up here just chilling with his hands crossed. Every tire option the Plaid has is a 600 kilogram tire. So it doesn't like sh outshine anything with like to as torque is concerned, but just having heavy set tire or heavier, super heavy tires. Yeah, it just, uh, it does really well. But also another thing I think it's uh, it's stability is absolutely superb. I'm just gonna I'm gonna say that right off the bat. Like it is it is superb. Um, let me actually put this back on live screen. But it, it's superb. We we were testing it um, on stream the other day, and I was I was pushing it to some points that I, I just did, didn't think it would survive, and it survived. It also looks like a train, yes. <laughs> it's like, a, it's basically a locomotive. <laughs> let's be real. All right, let's stop here. I'm gonna do a little cracker. Major plus point, there, plus point there, yeah, that's true. 92 horses and one horse breeder. Okay. Hey, hold on a second, dude. Is this is this a is this a reference to someone that I think I that I think I know? Is this a reference? Did they literally just give him a shout out, dude. No way, bro. No way. Oh my goodness, I actually flipped myself over. It actually did it. Huh. Think again. Dude, I mean it's it's hand this thing is handling pulling a pulling a trailer pretty well. I'm gonna say straight up outright. It's a task, yeah, there's a task. It's called um Not a roller coaster. Yep, it's called not a roller coaster. I'm sure there's, there's going to be a bunch of YouTubers come out with uh, how to unlock the Plaid 450. Yeah, it's it's going to be. I don't think it's going to be crazy hard, but it's probably many steps. I'm guessing. I think that's probably how they design this map. Is uh. 
things are going to be many steps and you're going to have to do a lot different a lot of different things than you would naturally have to do dude i think they made this is a this is a mr lone wolf reference i'm pretty sure i think this is hold on i had to read this man this was a hell of a car back in this day 92 horsepower <laughs> Light, easy to drive, and now she's gonna scrap. Think you can tow her to the garage for me? It'd be way easier. I don't know, this might be a Mr. Lone Wolf ref reference, dude. There was already a video on it eight hours ago. <laughs> you know what? It probably was, Luke. It probably was someone who played the PTS. And then what they did was they, they got on live server and seeing if everything changed and it did if it didn't they just published the video i don't blame them i don't blame them all right so let's uh let's see if i can head back try and jump down through there was it was it gaming with jj it probably was jj if anyone he's usually on top of this stuff Oh, can I get down there? Yes, I can. Oh. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, let's go back on morning. All right, Muffna. Thanks for stopping in, man. I appreciate it. Oh, it was, it was Menace. Nice, dude. Good for him. This thing is towing this like a boss right now. This thing handles trailers, man. This is not normal. Is that fish down there? Or is that fireflies? Fireflies. Okay, nice. Never mind. It didn't have to pop out. It's a nice lake, man. This is a good picture right here, dude. Look at that. Pretty sweet. Saw a mod once, a mud runner. On spin tires where the breakable bridges. I think that was a feature in spin tires, right? That would be pretty cool if something like that happened in Snowrunner, actually. I I'd be down. I'd be down for it. I like this bridge, by the way. It's sweet. Okay, cool. Pop this here. I think so too, Luke. Yeah. Lighter trucks. Lighter loads, period. I think it would be a cool, a cool little thing to do. Okay, I am going to extend this all the way down. Yeah. Extend this all the way down. What's up, District? Yo, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Whoa. 
Good to see a district. <clears throat> it's been a while, man. It's been a while. Ah, uh, you know what? Do I want to go that way? Or do I want to just go through this... All this jazz? I kind of want to just go through the jazz. Let's try it. Oh, maybe this is not a bad idea. Okay, maybe not. We're good. I think we're okay. Oh, he asked about that? Really? It's ingested breakable things? That's, pr that's probably why we got breakable things here. Which is cool. Yeah, I, I like the breakable bridge concept. I like it. It would change things. I like, uh, I like, um... I'd be in favor of having trails that were size specific or like size restrictive. I know a lot of people are like, don't restrict us on what trucks we can use. But the thing is like, I don't know. I, I think it would be cool. It would incentivize using smaller trucks. Um, you wouldn't have the standard standard truck usage. People have to get a little bit more uh, bucket list. Did I get this one? No, I haven't. Bucket list. So detour bucket list. Nice. Okay, let's go get this bucket list here. But that, that's the gate's closed. But we don't worry about that. We are not gonna worry about that. It's actually closed though. How big is the new map? It's the max size a map can be, which is I think two kilometers by two kilometers. Whoa. Is one map enough? Um, I think in in the in Snow Snowrunner's current current phase of how do I say this of the game, I guess. Do I need to actually like? Maybe I need to back up here. Honestly, I think it's enough. I think it's enough. I think uh, we have. You have potentially 700 to 1,000 hours of gameplay in one playthrough alone. So, like, I think people's major complaint about Season 13 is going to be it's it's one map. Um, me, personally, I'm fine with it. And Mondra is max size, yes. Yeah, Mondra is max size. Most two map regions are... Like, as DLCs. I'm pretty sure they all are. I don't know of one DLC that's... Actually, can I get that? Oh, we have... How nice. How nice. Honestly, I would like to see them come back with, like, a three-map region where the maps will be of, like, varying size. Like, one of the maps will be, like, almost, like... The quarry, or what's another one? Um, Island Lake, like those type of sizes, or even like Drummond Island, like something of those sorts. You know what I'm saying? I'd be okay with that. Or I'd be okay with even two maps, with like one map being a different size. But yeah, I'm totally okay with having shorter maps. I mean, the game is long enough as it is. 
I don't know, that's just my, my point of view. Playing for four years. I think the game, how do they say this? I think the game is so long that I get, I get a lot of viewers that tell me like they've, they've stopped playing and then they come back later and play it. That could be a good thing because that's like replayability, right? They're coming back to it to play to like finish things. But like, then also like, because they're not progressing fast, they could just be leaving to play other games. I don't know. Like maybe other games give them a more, a better sense of like satisfaction or like progression just because they move a little bit faster than SnowRunner does. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. But I'm just a regular dude. So I don't know all these things. Ah, uh, there we go. If we, okay, so keep in mind, if I did have the jet tires on, this would be a lot better. I guarantee it. A bit early for season 14 leaks, maybe, but I saw something interesting about the next season. Really? Oh no, what, what'd you hear? Oh gosh. Can I get up here? Hmm. Interesting. Should I try to get up here? No. I'll just... I'll ride out. I'll get it later. That's a nice spot too, right there. Is there a reason that they just make new seasons and not really make any new big mechanics or features? Well, this season it was breakable objects. I think when they when they add some new features, things break. That's what I'm saying. Like when they when they add like new mechanics and stuff like that, they start to get things that break. I think that's that's a reason why. If you look at like season 10, there was no new features added really other than the uh, the fairy which is just like treated like a, a gateway, I believe. And it was one of the smoothest running seasons. There's some leftovers and two files that are meant for next season. Oh no, what is it, Dave? But one of them implies that there are four maps in the season. What? <laughs> I figured you would find it. Of course he would. Of course he would. That's crazy, man. Think it could be a typo? I don't know, man. You could be on to something. Uh, so I want to discover all this down here. So I actually need to get back to this uh, to this road. Or yeah, let's get back to the road and just continue. But I could. Yeah, I'm gonna get this upgrade real quick. I don't think it's a typo either. I'm going alone. I'm not going to bring this. I'm going to see if I can get up, climb up all this junk. Can we do it, bro? Yo, expeditions eat your heart out. Is this going to happen? Uh. Yo, who needs expeditions, dude? Get out of here. Who needs expeditions when you can do this? <gasps> no. <laughs> no. No. Nothing. Oh, isn't that just great? All right. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. The no deployable anchors. All right, let's get a get a truck to come come rescue this, huh? What am I using to rescue this? Spoke way too soon, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
I should have checked with the drone. Yo, what about that jack screw? Whoa, dude. Just chill. Oh, we flipped our truck over. That's what we did. Hold up a second. Where am I going? Yikes, yikes, yikes. Okay, so hold up. Oh, this is going to be interesting, but we'll get, we can get there. Let's go. It's okay. I can get there. Interesting. Let's go, Resvani. You can see the Resvani has a more efficient engine than, than the uh, AAC. And as soon as I turn on all wheel drive because the 80% penalty, look at its consumption now. Even though it's still pretty, pretty great, right? Still really good consumption, but still. So that special gearbox is really what makes it. If only I was a better driver that understood, yeah, the mechanics, man. If only I could drive better. <laughs> oh man, I get comments like that so much, man. People think this game, <laughs> I get so many comments about people thinking like this game is like a, a true, like real life sim. And it is hilarious, bro. It's, it's kind of hilarious. What's my favorite scout? I don't know, man. I don't know. I would probably say the, uh, the Lodestar. I was driving like a maniac, kind of. I've been driving like a maniac all day right now, so I deserve that. You know what? I deserve that. I deserve what happened, so. I deserve it. I will admit, I deserve it. Honestly, the Load Stars, Load Star is one of the better scouts in the game, in my opinion. I really, I really think that. Really, it's only, it's only downside is it's, uh, it's a little, di little bit too, uh, too thirsty. That's really its only downside. I mean, there's other downsides, but I mean, like the most. The one that stands out to me the most is just its consumption, tank size probably too as well. Um, I think I can do something here. I think if I go down, wait, can I actually connect to these rails? Maybe not. Okay, I know I can get through over here though. You could do that. Yeah, you could do that. Different gearbox. Try to like mitigate it a little bit. Yeah, you could do that. Uh, I think I did this before with the, the plaid. But I, I, I can get under here. Yeah, I can. Yeah. Yeah, if you can carry a scout fuel trailer, then you're good, right? Yeah, it kind of, yeah, it basically just handles a scout fuel trailer like it's not even there. Yeah, it's, that's so true. Um, I want to get down there. I wonder if I should just dive this. Yeah, I can dive this. Yeah, I can do it. It's a tree right there. We're good.
Yeah, you can basically do whatever you want with the... The crazy thing is when you jackknife a trailer as well. The funny thing... <laughs> the funniest thing is, like, usually in the scout, when you jackknife a trailer, like a fuel trailer, that is, you'll flip yourself over. But the, the Lodestar has this thing where it kind of just keeps pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. Okay, there's the Phantas 450. I think that is the top engine, I think. I think that's the 245K. All right, I'm just gonna like bulldoze this dude. Uh, okay. Ho ho! Nope. Okay, let's go. You can run the plaid on the good M900. What's the M900? You mean the the, the 210,000 torque? Is that what you're talking about? That engine? <clears throat> Appreciate that, Luke. Thank you. Okay, stop, stop, stop. I don't think it's worth it, though. I, I think that's too much... 210, 210,000 versus like 245. <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, it's worth a try. Your top five is Lodestar F750, Tuz 166, and Tatrin. Nice. Oh. So let's go this way. This is insane, bro. The balance on this truck is kind of crazy. Not gonna lie. <laughs> I left him abandoned, I know, I know. Dude, this is why I love normal mode. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is why I love normal mode. Like, I can just play reckless. I don't know, do I still play reckless on normal hard mode? What do you guys think? Am I... I think I'm a pretty relaxed driver. I don't know. Or is that... What do you guys think, man? I don't know. I hear people say I drive crazy. Some people say I drive normal. <clears throat> What's up, Urcube? Welcome in. Okay, a little bit farther, and I'm gonna actually, like, just... drop this whole thing. I'm gonna go put the Jats on this, actually, as well. We'll finish out the last bit. You see a drive reasonable? I think so too. I was crazy as Lone Wolf. I think so, man. What's up, Orn? Welcome in. I'm doing well. Good to see you. All right, I'm gonna drive back here a little bit just to kind of like Normal is nice. Thanks, man. All right, let's try this now. This is probably going to be the last one I do. <clears throat> what do I think about the new truck? So this being one of the new trucks, I think this one is really good. I am not a fan of scouts. I think scouts shouldn't be in the game anymore. Um, but with that being said, I think for a scout, it's up there, man. I think it's definitely A. It's definitely A tier for a scout. In my humblest opinion. Okay, we're gonna go. Grab this tower here. So we'll head out down this way. And then, yeah, we'll go grab this tower. After that, we'll grab this tower here. And that's all the scouting I have to do. And then we'll grab all these missions. 
I think there's one more upgrade, I think. Scouts, what is that? Yeah. So I think this is probably the better move to put these tires on here, though. Tuz Warthog and the Ford are your scouts. The Tuz Warthog actually got the uh, the autonomous winch now, so. The new scout is awesome, Oreo. I think it's awesome. For for a small 4x4 scout, I'm gonna probably say it's it's be it's definitely better than the Neo Falcon. Um yeah, I would say mo probably mo it's probably better than most small scouts, actually. I'm I'm just gonna come out and say that. I've been driving this thing like I've stolen it, and it's been holding on for balance for dear life. Um I used the stock tires pretty much for this this whole playthrough. It's pulled a, a, a scout a scout trailer really well with its stock tires. Um which is a rarity, right? Like usually small scouts don't do really well with with hauling trailers, period. So so it's kind of like a little exception to the rule. He had, a, he had a, a video about new scouts lately. Wait, when did, when did he put this video out? The rock grinder, that's another one. It's definitely much better than the rock grinder. Oh goodness. Yeah, this is, this is definitely a breath of fresh air. I probably should have went the other way. It was earlier today around 1-ish. Yeah, the rock grinder suspension is weird. I feel like the back end is kind of like, kind of curved down. I don't know, not curved down, like sunken down for some reason. I don't know, it's just weird. Yeah, I like I like Telemenes' take on on that subject. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. You know, he's he's one of the only content creators, other than a couple other ones, who will who will say their actual opinion. I think I respect that, even though I think a lot of people he's met probably met with a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of folks that are probably upset when he says things like that, but I, I definitely can uh, understand. I want to try to climb this. Gives you Land Rover vibes. Honestly, it kind of does too. Okay, back up. What's the weight on the Scout? It weighs more than the Hummer weighs more than the Con. Uh, what's it called? The Loaf. So it's actually for a four x four Scout. It's actually kind of heavy. I would say it's yeah. It's one of the heavier four x four Scouts, to be honest. I believe it weighs more than the Scout Eight Hundred too. Yes, more than the Loaf. Yep. The Loaf actually weighs less than the Hummer. So, yeah. Am I getting the plaid tonight? I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to take a look at it. I'm going to take a look at it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to just because of time. I do have work at 530 in the morning, but uh, yeah, we'll take a look at it. The broken spiral. Did I even get this? I didn't. That's fine. I can get that soon. I don't need to get that. I can go.
How dry am I? The broken spiral. I can probably dive down there and grab that at some point, I guess. There's one more tower over here. So I need to get over there. Let's go. How much does the... I can show you. I know people are wanting to know. How much is the Scout 800 way? Scout 800. Where is the Scout? Why is it not showing the Scout? Scout. Am I, am I dumb right now? So AAC is 4,016. 4, Scout 800 is 2,800. So that, that's like raw weight. So here's the con. Watch this. Here's... Uh, this is more precise. This this weight's right here. Hummer, 3,800. And then if you go to... Con Loaf, 3,600. Scout. Where is the, why is the Scout not on here? I don't... Why doesn't he not have the Scout 800 on here? Am I missing it? International, that's why. Good, good call. 3100. Pretty crazy, right? Pretty crazy. But yeah, so if you compare that to... Okay, so this isn't no no listen guys before you before you fly off on the handle on me. This is US tons. I convert these to US tons. Okay. So loaf. So it's heavier it's heavier than the Apache. It's heavier than the than the Scout eight hundred. It's heavier than the loaf. It's heavier than the, the um the Hummer. I'm pretty sure it falls right here. Let's see what the Resvani Hercules is actually. Res Vani. 44. Dang, it's crazy, dude. It's almost it's almost as heavy as the Res Vani Hercules. Unreal. Unreal. Kind of crazy. But yeah, it's 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 decent heavy. <laughs> it's not like Lodestar heavy. But it's pretty good. I would say it's 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 pretty decent. So I think uh, that's why it's able to pull trailers decently well. I really believe that. Okay, let's go down. But it's tippy. Wait, what's tippy? Wait, what's tippy? Wait, what? What's Tippy? This truck? Oh, dude, not that way. Well, the Scout 800? Yeah. I would probably say so. <laughs> I'd probably say so, yeah. Yeah, I need to just chill, because I'm, I'm driving like crazy, and I'm just being stupid right now. There we go. Nice. Did they nerf this scout from the PTS? No, not to my my not to my knowledge now. Why? Yeah, I think with the Jats and the 800, I, I like it. Without without the Jats and the eight and the Scout 800, I would say it's yeah, it's, it's definitely got some stability issues. But here's the thing. If you go back to my first episode on 
on my hard mode, which you can't really go back to because actually you can. I think I started on, it might be a YouTube, an old YouTube stream. I started, instead of using um, the Chevy, I started using a fully upgraded Scout 800 and that was my Scout. And I mean, I, I, I thought it was fine, but also everyone's different, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's good. Yo, pumpkin squashers. When you drove it, it was perfect, dude. I, I think it's I think it's good. I think the scout. I think this is a good truck. Actually, I went the wrong way. I wonder. Actually, no. Hold on. Give me, give me, give me a second here. Yeah, let's go back this way. Yes, there we go. Yo, finding the shortcuts. Yeah, I think it's I think it's pretty good district, honestly. Um I think its balance is a lot better than than most. I think it drives really well. Now, I don't think it's the fastest <laughs> truck in the game. Wait, what is this? Did I get this already? No, this is something else. Maybe I should just go see what it is. Okay, that's a turn in, I think. Oh no, a crafting place? No. What is this? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Concrete blocks. Okay, I understand. You honestly, it might be mad quick because you were using the uh, the freeway gearbox. I'm using the special. That's probably why. Yeah, I think it has good grip too as well. I think it does as well. Yeah. Yeah, the freeway gearbox is going to run faster. I'm just using this one because it's it's gas mileage is much better than any other gearbox option. That's the only reason. I mean, running down trails like this, it doesn't feel too bad though. It feels pretty good. Oh, I went the wrong way, I think. I know it. I know I did. Oh no, I didn't. Oh wait, I did. Huh. Always on diff lock is a win, yes. Always on diff is a win. That is true. That's another thing I really didn't think about there. That's a good good point, Nurga. Yeah, having always on diff is lovely. Beautiful. Well, we went down there earlier, so we're good to go. Okay. My last mission to grab so far is this right here. And then I have to grab this upgrade. So that's what we're going to do. However, the problem I see here is... <sighs> Can I even get down? I'm gonna try to get down. We're just gonna we're gonna do it. Grab this, and then we're gonna go down and grab that upgrade. And after that, it's plaid time. We're gonna go grab see if we can get started on the plaid. Your uncle's been there a couple about a decade ago. That's cool, dude. Yeah. I'd like to see what his thoughts are. About the authenticity. What do you guys think? You guys think we need a, uh, like a desert map? Oh. 
Get back on that daylight, you know what I'm saying? Inner city map totally obliterated by the flood. Ooh, okay. 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 I can, I can, uh, I can. I can agree with that. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna go around. I don't, I don't think I see a way down through. That might be a good one, but I probably will fall and I probably won't get back to my wheels. So, yeah, not a viable option. I don't think this one is either. So, we'll just take the route around. Actually, there's a shortcut right here, I think. I see. Wait, is there... Oh, that's not a shortcut. That's not a shortcut, that's right, okay. Like, I'm going to be real. I should have flipped over. Like, no joke. I should have flipped. Like, in all honesty, the game has been too good to me today. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's a big wheel. Like look how look how good this this truck is on on fuel consumption. Like it is it's it's a love it's a lovely thing. It has listen, it's like it's like the perfect 4x4 if you think about it. Always on diff. Actually, except for here's the here's the issue. <laughs> Front wheel drive. Which actually it's not I guess it's not too bad cuz of like turning and stuff like that, which it's I'm sure it's could be worse. But you have Exceptional balance, okay? First, you have exceptional balance. You have always on diff lock, which not a lot of scouts actually have, especially like 4x4s. Um, good tires. Great fuel consumption. Drive with those fallen rocks and let the scout fail. Oh yeah, they're all along here too. Okay, this upgrade is like right here, I think. I almost want to just drop down onto this thing. Oh, I just, are you kidding? Oh my goodness. I can't steer. How come I can't steer? How come I can't steer? Wait, no, this is not right. I have my engine. Yo, you don't even know what stupid is. <laughs> it's about to get all stupid up in here. Wait, 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 wait. Why can't I steer? If I can just turn my tire to my left, I might be able to get salvage this. It won't let me turn. Yo, keyboard, keyboard. Hold on, let me go back to my, let me go back to the garage. <laughs> let me see if I can reset this. This is ridiculous. What? 
What? Can I steer? It won't let me steer. Are you kidding? <laughs> what? Are you kidding? If I could just turn my left, turn my tire left, I could dig in and maybe get out. Okay, I have to come. I have to come rescue myself. Again, again, again. Hmm. I could use him, but I kind of want to keep him there. Never gonna get, yeah, pretty much. Just Rick roll me. Sorry, that's what I get. That's what I get for trying to brainstorm and think about doing something stupid. <laughs> and then doing something even more stupid. <laughs> Wait, which, where am I at here? Which, which, which quarry? What in the world just happened? Oh my goodness, dude. Okay. Uh, so I'm guessing this way. Oh, I have to go all the way around? One day I will. <clears throat> One day it, it's coming. It's, it's coming. There will be a day. Oh, that'll be the day. This thing is float. All right, district. I'll see you later, man. You have a good day. I almost want to like jump off this thing and just use a winch to winch him, but I'm okay. I guess I'll just I'll just do this up. You know what? This this is actually a you probably need to really get this blockage done because look at this shortcut. Go down this way instead of going all the way around. Ah. Oh. Now, if this was hard mode, you guys know for a fact we'd be playing so much more safe. But like, that's the thing, man, is like, is it fun to watch me play safe or watch anyone play safe on this game? You know what I mean? Get out of there. What am I doing? Wow, dude, this thing is going nuts. That's why you dropped your HC playthrough after a more. 
It's fun to watch, watch consistency, fast or slow. <laughs> you know, I do like slow paced gameplay. I really do. I really do. I like the slow paced gameplay. I'm, I'm definitely not like a huge high range gearbox user. I mean, yeah, I got it in here. I'm kind of whipping around, but I think it has its time and its place for fun. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're driving the Lodestar because I I had a little accident. It seems to be a trend today. That's what happens when you take a break from SnowRunner, you know? If I could just turn my tire. Look at that. Uh, hello? Yo, right there. There's a little... <laughs> there's an example of directional winching. Watch. Grabs the bottom. Okay. Dip the camera. Grabs the top. Just like we did on that video, man. I'm telling you, the direct directional winching is a thing. All right, let's try to just jump off this. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Okay, just chill. Ha <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he was off and running. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> yeah, the OG tag is legit for, for those, yeah. All right, cool, that's it. We basically got all those done. All right, let's go see what else we have to do. Okay, so. My goodness, look at this. Oversized cargo, where's it at? Oversized cargo, okay. Okay. It didn't even take much damage there, that's right, right? Only in first person? Yeah, so if you dip your camera, it's it's all about dipping your, like you have to basically manipulate your camera, controls third person to get like precision. First person is gonna be super precise. Oh, that's right, Dirt. Yeah, you're right. The uh, the cargo container that's sitting right... Where's that? Is that the plaid? No. That is the plaid. No, it's not. What am I doing? The plaid's over here. Gotta orient myself. Yeah, this uh, this cargo container... I can... Yeah, I can just grab that, right? <clears throat> to the logistics center. Okay. Honestly... I can probably do both of these in one go. I can try, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the restroom real quick and then we'll give the this a stab, okay? Sound good to y'all? I'll be right back.
All right, we're back. Let's check out something here. Okay, for this mission, here's what I think, actually. So if this all goes to the logistics center, Found the dude drinking the bus station. By the way, I really appreciate the Bible verse that I see it. Yeah, man, you're welcome. We definitely are a lover of Christ. That's true. Definitely, definitely, man. Glad you like that. That Link Nikon is on Map Runner. Yep, that link is on MapRunner website. You go to MapRunner, go to resources, go to SnowRunner data spreadsheet. Okay, so this one, here's what I think is going to happen with this, this mission here. I'm pretty sure... I'm trying to think of the, the pathing for this, actually. It would probably go pull down this. Trying to think here. Would it actually go down this way, over, up, around? Um, and then it would probably go through here. Boom. But this is season 13. Yep, that's right, Tukazuki. This is season 13. Yeah, I think what I would do is on this, actually, here's what I'm going to do. If this is not connected, which it isn't connected. I'm just going to use a truck that can use a wide, a wide flatbed trailer. Yeah. Wide flatbed trailer, um, crane, put this back on, get myself down here, reposition, pull the plaid through. I think that's kind of the way to go. Maybe pull the plaid like this way. I, I guess you can't really pull them up this way because of this. So it'd be just down, over, down through here, around, up. They're all going, so this actually has to go over to the quarry. So I bring this down to the quarry. But then again, the only thing is, is why take a wide flatbed down here if I don't need to? Because I'm going to have to lug it back up, right? So I don't know. But anyways, I think... I think that is going to be it for today, guys. Um, yeah, I think that's all we're going to do today. Tomorrow, I will be back. Same time. It's going to be at around 3. I'm going to say around 3 p.m. Yeah, around 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Because um, I have work till 2. And I need to come home and kind of like shower and yeah, get things together. But tomorrow, that's going to be the first thing we do. So if you guys want to see the plaid... If you haven't seen the plaid yet or haven't seen anybody unlock the plaid, which I'm sure you already probably have if you're watching this, but if you have it, you want to see how it's done maybe in a different way. I'm going to do this tomorrow. This is going to be the first mission I do is, is unlocking the plaid. After that, we're just going to start hammering away at these, uh, these tasks. So I think that's pretty much the move and way to go. And then if, uh, if some of these tasks are held up, I'll probably take a look at some of these and see if they are unlocking any type of places to derive cargo that could be slowing us down. So that's kind of like the, uh, the move for, for tomorrow. So with that being said, guys, I appreciate y'all stopping out here. I know my schedule has been crazy lately, but it's going to be crazy for probably the next couple of weeks. And then other than that, we'll, we'll be back to streaming kind of like in, in the mornings and stuff like that. So that'll all come back. So you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And until then, guys, God bless and stay upright.